Let's talk about uh, parallel LEDs, okay? But before we do that, we'll take a look at some incandescent lamps. We'll put them in parallel and in series with each other. So here's a 100 watt and a 60 watt, and we know what's going to happen. We're going to put some voltage across them, and the 100 watt's going to be brighter. They have the same voltage across them, but this has less uh, resistance, so we're going to draw more current through this one, and it's going to be brighter there, okay? I have it on a Variac. I don't want to bring it up too, too high. But anyway, the 100's brighter. And then we take the take the 100 and the 60 and we put them in series with each, with each other. There we go. Now, the, the current's going to be the same through them, through both of them. They're both in series. The 60 has, uh, the resistance is higher, so we're going to get more voltage drop across the 60 than across the 100, okay? So we turn that on and we bring up the voltage and the... Uh, Turn this one off. There we go. And uh, so we got the 60s starting to light up. And the voltage is all dropping across the 60. And across the 100, it just, uh, I can just barely see it. Can you see? Yeah, you barely see it coming on now because all the voltage is being dropped across the uh, the 60 watt lamp because of the resistance is, is lower or resistance is higher in the 60 there. So we drop our voltage across there. So. That's your incandescent lamps, right? So now, let's take a look at uh, parallel LEDs, okay? So, first thing we'll do is we'll take a look at the uh, this uh, IV curve for uh, different colors here, okay? We're going to take a look at a red, and we're going to take a look at a blue, okay? So, this curve shows us our, our full forward voltage when this thing's going to turn on. And since we have, um, we know the current and we know the voltage, we can, we can calculate resistance, okay? So on a curve like this, the resistance or the conductance is equal to, say you have a point on the curve here, it's equal to a, ta a line tangent to that point, and that slope of the line is going to be the conductance. And to get the resistance, you divide it into one. You take the reciprocal of it, okay? So if you... If you know the point, say at 20 here, uh, you can do some calculus to find the slope of the, the tangent line, and then you'll know your resistance. But uh, what we're going to do is, this is almost a straight line, so we're just going to take the uh, uh, slope of a line. Okay, the slope of a line is a lot easier. Uh, it's just a rise over the run. This is the rise. This is the run here. So we'll take the, the red one at, uh, say, at 100. And that comes down to 2.5, and then we'll take it at 40 just because it lines up at 2 here. And then you uh, you subtract the uh, the rise here for the 100 from the 40, and you divide it by this, the the difference between the 2 and the 2.5 here, and it gives you your uh, your slope, okay? And that's the conductance. So you take that; that comes out to 0 0.12. You divide that into one, so there's going to be 8.3 ohms, okay? So now for the uh, for the blue one, same thing. We're going to start at 100 and go down to 40, because 100 is at uh, 4, and 40 is going to be at, uh, what's 40 at? Oh, 40 is at 3, okay? So we subtract those two and divide them by the difference. There's one volt difference here, and that's going to come out to uh, uh, 0.06. And then you take that into one, it's 16, 16 ohms for the, the blue one, okay? Now, you know, it's, we're hoping that this is a straight line here, which it's not. And uh, so you're better off, if you did the calculus, you could you could get it down to a certain point where you want to be. But uh, we're, we're, we're going to be in a ballpark and we're going to be close enough. And that resistance is just a very small part of, uh, you, you have to add in this forward voltage drop, okay? So the resistance, say, at, uh, at uh, 20 milliamps, on the red one, it's, it's 8 ohms, so that's only going to be 0.16 volts, okay? So, you know, we don't even have to take that into effect because we know that the, the turn-on voltage is going to be around 2 volts or so, and uh, so it's way below what, uh, you know, and, and, you know, we're putting in a, say, 330 ohm resistor on the thing or something, so... That little bit of resistance, uh, we, we don't usually use, but even bring that into the calculation, okay? 
Now, if we take a uh, we take a red one, red one and a blue one, and we put it together. We want to take a look at uh, a KVL Kirchhoff's voltage law. Okay, and what they say, what he says is that if uh, you know you whatever voltage you drop across one of these here, these two in this loop here has to add up to zero. Okay. So if we have positive positive two volts here coming in, and this is negative it's coming up this way, it'll be negative to positive. It's got to add up to zero. So this, this two volts here, this has got to be two volts here. It's got to add to zero. Okay. Same with this loop around here. If this is uh, you're dropping three volts here and two volts here, and this is a five volt uh, source here. So positive positive, and then comes up to the negative here. So this is positive five, negative five. So it's going to be zero, zero volts there also. So KVL says that whatever this voltage is has to be the same as that voltage. Here over here, we know that this is 120 volts. This is going to be 120 volts here. So now we take the, the red LED and the, the blue LED. So the, re, the re, red LED has a forward voltage of two volts. Okay and the blue one has a forward voltage of three volts okay so when this thing gets up to two volts it's not the voltage isn't going to rise you know it'll rise a little bit due to the eight ohms it's got in there but you can see on the chart here that you keep putting current in here it the voltage is just going to rise up very slightly okay so it's it's going to try to maintain the two volts on there okay so same if you had a Zener diode over here. If you had a Zener diode over here, you'd expect a two volt Zener. You'd expect this to be two volts over here. You keep adding voltage to it. Eventually, you're just going to burn up the the Zener there. Okay, you're just going to keep increasing the current across it. So same thing with the diode. It's going to get two volts here, two volts here. The blue ones are never going to come on. So I got it set up over here. There's a red one, and a blue one Let's see what we got here and okay can you see that yep the red one's on and it's getting pretty bright and the blue one i don't it might might be coming up just a little bit there but uh, that's the red one and the the blue one of course we're dropping our two volts across there this yeah i don't see anything on there you're not going to get anything across that uh, you're not going to get your three volts over here You'll burn this one up before you ever get three volts on there. Okay, so now why can't we just use two red ones? Okay, we could use we could put uh, two two red ones in parallel there, and if they're identical, well that's good, but they're never going to be identical. Uh, you're going to have a little bit of uh, you know the, the resistance going to be a little, slightly off, and the forward voltage drop is going to be off. And if it's only off by, you know, like 1% or so, you know, you, you could have, uh, if you're, especially if you're running them up at, uh, you know, 20 milliamps, this could be a 21, this could be at 19 or something, you could burn one of them up. And uh, so you're never going to be the same, so you're better off just putting in, uh, adding another uh, uh, resistor there on each one, put a resistor on, on each uh, LED there, you know. So, you know, and when you calculate the, the resistance for these two in parallel here, Normally we'd calculate say for 20 milliamps, but in parallel you're going to need 40 milliamps, right? Because you need it uh, the 20 through both of them. Okay, so you'd have to have a you know lower resistance over here. But so it's not a good idea to ever put them in parallel. Now you can put them in series, and uh, we'll give that a try. I don't know if I got it hooked up right or not, but we'll try it. Probably not. Let me see. There we go. 
there we go I'm putting uh, five volts in them now and you can see that they're both uh, they're both on the blue ones looks like it's a little bit little bit lit up a little more but they're in series and they, they work in series because you're um, you're dropping the same current through both of them okay so that's uh, that's a series but in parallel you can't do them in parallel and uh, even if they're the same color they're not going to be identical they're going to be off a little bit but uh, the reason they don't work in parallel like this is because they have a um, you know Kirchhoff's voltage law you're not going to get your you got two volts here you're not going to get three volts over here just like having a zener diode in there okay so uh, that's uh, parallel uh, LEDs and uh, yeah thank you